Hey lifers, Dustin here and today I have a different type of video that I've done on this channel before. I want to take a look at the history of conference realignment in the Power 5 conferences. So from the beginning when the Big Ten was formed all the way up until this latest round in 2013 and 2014, I want to take a look kind of year by year and show you how conference realignment got to the way it was. I do want to apologize to anybody who is interested in the group of five or FCS, or Division II, or Division III. Uh, those conferences, those conference realignments, are not featured in this video, just the Big Six. So, I'm not even including the Big East in this. was a gnat. I'm not even including the Big East in this. So, it's just the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the Pac-12, and the SEC. And because the Big Eight and the Southwest joined together uh included in the big 12 is the southwest and the uh big eight so those are the six conferences that i'm focusing on in this video if this is interesting to anybody else i can do a, a bigger one where i talk about everybody else in the like fbs level sorry socon uh sorry patriots i'm not getting into the fcs level uh it's just too many at some point i have to stop it we are just nine Saturdays away. This is July 1st. We are officially on the second half of 2017 now, which is, it feels exactly right, and yet it's still weird at the exact same time. So, happy last month without any college football. It's been a long time coming. The reason that I'm making this video today is July 1st starts the next academic year for schools. So traditionally July 1st is the day that new schools or schools join the new conference in all sports. Uh, so July 1st is like the unofficial kickoff of the next school year. So without any further ado, I want to start with the conference realignment and we are going back to the 19th century for this one. In 1896, Chicago, Illinois, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Northwestern, Purdue, and Michigan formed the Intercollegiate Conference of Faculty Representatives, known then as the Western Conference. 1899, Indiana and Iowa joined the Western Conference, first referred to as the Big Nine. 1907, Michigan voted out of the Big Nine for not adhering to league rules. It is now referred to as the Big Eight, even after Iowa leaves to help form the Missouri Valley Intercollegiate Athletic Association, along with Washington University in St. Louis, Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska. 1908, Drake and Iowa State join the Missouri Valley. 1911, Iowa leaves the Missouri Valley to rejoin the Big Eight. 1912, Ohio State joins the Big Eight, making it the Big Nine. 1913, Kansas State joins the Missouri Valley. 1915, the Southwest Intercollegiate Athletics Conference is formed with Oklahoma, Oklahoma A&M, now Oklahoma State, Arkansas, Southwestern, Baylor, Rice, Texas, and Texas A&M. 1916, Southwestern makes a quick exit from the Southwest Conference. Across the country, California, Washington, Oregon, and Oregon State form the Pacific Coast Conference. 1917, Michigan rejoins the Big Nine, and it is officially called the Big Ten. Also that year, Washington State joined the PCC. Next year, in 1918, Stanford joined the PCC, and SMU joined the Southwest. Grinnell joins the Missouri Valley, and Nebraska leaves to go independent. 1919, Oklahoma leaves the Southwest to join the Missouri Valley. 1920, Phillips plays its only year in the Southwest. 1921, Nebraska rejoins the Mountain Valley. 1922, USC and Idaho join the PCC. 1923, TCU joins the Southwest. 1924, Montana joins the PCC. 1925, Oklahoma State, then Oklahoma A&M, leaves the Southwest to join the Missouri Valley. 1928, UCLA joins the PCC. That same year, Oklahoma State, Washington University, Grinnell, and Drake leave the Missouri Valley, which is renamed the Big Six. 1932, the SEC is formed when 13 schools leave the SOCON. Alabama, Auburn, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, LSU, Ole Miss, Miss State, Tennessee, Tulane, Sewanee, Georgia Tech, and Vanderbilt. 
1940, Chicago de-emphasizes football, making the Big Ten the Big Nine again, and Sewanee leaves the SEC to go independent. 1947, Colorado joins the Big Six from the Mountain States Conference, making it the Big Seven. 1950, Montana leaves the Pacific Coast to go to the Mountain States Conference. 1953, the ACC is formed when seven teams leave the SOCON in Clemson, Duke, Maryland, North Carolina, NC State, South Carolina, and Wake Forest. Michigan State also joined the Big Nine, and it finally became the Big Ten again. 1954, Virginia joins the ACC. 1959, the PCC, Pacific Coast Conference, disbands following a pay-for-play scandal at Cal, UCLA, USC, and Washington. Those four schools go on to form the Athletic Association of Western Universities. A month later, Stanford joins, and they are colloquially called the Big Five. 1960, Oklahoma State joins the Big Seven, officially making it the Big Eight. Texas Tech also joined the Southwest. 1962, Washington State joins the Big Five, making it the Big Six. Yes, in 1962, there was a Big Six, a Big Eight, and a Big Ten. 1964, Georgia Tech leaves the SEC to go independent, and Oregon and Oregon State join the Big Six, and the conference officially changed their name to the Pacific Athletic Conference and called themselves the Pac-8 since there was, you know, already a Big Eight. 1966, Tulane leaves the SEC to go independent. 1971, South Carolina leaves the ACC to go independent. In 1976, Houston joins the Southwest. In 1978, Arizona and Arizona State join the Pac-8 from the WAC and make it the Pac-10. 1983, Georgia Tech joins the ACC in football. They joined in 1979 in all other sports. 1987, the Big Ten officially changes their name to the Big Ten. Seriously. 1992, Arkansas leaves the Southwest to join the SEC. South Carolina joins from the Independent. And it was also the very first SEC Conference Championship game. And actually the first Conference Championship game of any type. Also that year, Florida State joined the ACC as their ninth member. In 1993, Penn State joined the Big Ten. In 1996, the Southwest Conference and the Big Eight combine some of their members namely Baylor, Texas, Texas Tech, Texas A&M from the Southwest, and all eight members of the Big Eight, and form the Big 12. That also coincides with the very first year of the Big 12 championship game. The leftovers from the Southwest Conference included Houston, who went to the CUSA, and Rice, TCU, and SMU that all went to the WAC. Things stayed relatively the same until 2004, when Miami and Virginia Tech joined the ACC from the Big East. The next year, Boston College joined the ACC from the Big East, and it was the inaugural ACC championship game. In 2011, Nebraska joined the Big Ten from the Big 12. It was the very first Big Ten championship game. Also that year, Colorado joined the Pac-10 from the Big 12, and Utah joined the Pac-10 from the Mountain West Conference to make it the Pac-12, and it was the very first Pac-12 championship game. 2012, Texas A&M and Missouri joined the SEC from the Big 12. TCU joins the Big 12 from the Mountain West Conference, technically. And West Virginia joined the Big 12 from the Big East. In 2013, Pittsburgh and Syracuse joined the ACC from the Big East. And the next year, in 2014, Maryland left the ACC to join the Big 10. Rutgers joined the Big 10 from the Big East slash American Athletic Conference. And Louisville joined the Big 10 from the Big East slash American Athletic Conference. And as of right now, that is it. That's where we stand right now at the beginning of the 2017 college football season. It will be interesting to see if and how many more of these changes and alignments are going to happen over the next few years. I just thought it was cool since today is Saturday and it is July 1st to give kind of a visual representation to how these changes have changed over the last few years. Let me know what you think about a video kind of like this where I just take a quick look at the history of something it's something I'm thinking about doing in the future with football programs and coaches and players, but kind of wanted to start with the overall conference realignment picture since I've talked about it the last few weeks and kind of get your idea on it. So let me know down below. Also, let me know what you think is going to kick off the next round of conference realignment and where you think teams will go. It's always a hot topic in college football land. So let me know what you think down below. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. 
can also click the trophy right there in the circle in order to subscribe or watch any of the other videos over here to the right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great last half of 2017. And as always, until next time. It feels exactly right and yet it's still weird at the exact same time. So happy last month without any college football. It's been a long time coming. The reason that I'm making this video today is July 1st starts the next academic year for schools. So traditionally July 1st is the day that new schools or schools join the new conference. Hey lifers, Dustin here and today I have a different type of video that I've done on this channel before. I want to take a look at the history of conference realignment in the Power 5 conferences. So from the beginning when the Big Ten was formed all the way up until this latest round in 2013 and 2014, I want to take a look kind of year by year and show you how conference realignment got to the way it was. I do want to apologize to anybody who is interested in the group of five or FCS or Division II or Division III. Uh, those conferences, those conference realignments are not featured in this video, just the big six. So I'm not even including the Big East in this. Was a gnat. I'm not even including the Big East in this. So it's just the ACC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, the Pac 12, and the SEC. And because the Big Eight and the Southwest joined together, uh, included in the Big 12 is the Southwest and the uh, Big 8. So those are the six conferences that I'm focusing on in this video. If this is interesting to anybody else, I can do a, a bigger one where I talk about everybody else in the like FBS level. Sorry, SoCon. Uh, sorry, Patriots. I'm not getting into the FCS level. Uh, it's just too many. At some point, I have to stop it. We are just nine Saturdays away. This is July 1st. We are officially on the second half of 2017 now, which is 